places are definitely making an effort to try and get their places much more accessible. And they're proud of it, you know, and so it's great. So one of the places that we stopped in Nanaimo that was a real highlight for me was Wild Play, which is where you can do the bungee jumping and the zip lining, but they really want to make it happen. For folks who want to try that, they're going to do everything in their power to make it happen. They strap me up for the bungee jumping, and then the instructors and staff tell you to you know, fall forward with your head first, and that was really hard to fight back against. But I just did it because, you know, there's only one life and you gotta live it. I'm deaf and I will be telling all my deaf friends that, uh, you know, you should definitely go to wild play. You should definitely bungee jump. You should definitely zip line. And yeah, that's why I think businesses should be able to advocate for all kinds of people. I can just tell he really loved it. And a lot of that has to do with the staff who are so supportive and helpful. I have anxiety. Something that triggers it is when there's lots of people around. So I like that the hotels have very nice big areas. So even when there's like lots of people, I don't feel like I'm choked. I also just liked the setting. Everything just seemed very calm, very calm music was playing in the background. Everyone was very nice, very welcoming. I'm not very familiar with Nanaimo, but then being here longer today has shown me that like it's a very nice area. It's for people that don't like the busy life, people that like small communities. So I do like that. I like the community setting. I like that there's not too much noise going on. Nanaimo or even anywhere on the island would be a nice place to be.